Hello avid patio gardeners. Today I wanted to discuss with you a little bit about various types of container garden containers or patio garden containers um, and the features and benefits that each one of them has. So um, basically also I wanted to discuss with you too a little bit about the importance of even watering and how some of these different kinds of containers can help ensure that you get even watering throughout the growing, growing season. So um, first I wanted to kind of show you that I have like two sections of my garden. So this portion of my garden is sort of against the wall. I'm going to back up here and get you even better a view. This is against the back wall of the patio garden. All these plants here. And um, these plants are underneath an awning, which protects them from the rain to some extent. On the other side, we have the um, the plants that reside sort of on the edge of the deck with no protection. There's no awning over these plants. And so these plants get watered from the rain and they also get harsh sun um, by contrast. So these plants kind of get like a different situation going on. And as I said before in many different videos, gardening is a learning process. What I've learned from this is that even watering will contribute to much more even growth. And what I mean by that is just watering a little bit and on a very, um, you know, regular basis will contribute to much more even growth. So what I noticed from the plants on this side of the deck is that they do tend to grow at a more steady rate. Um, so anyways, let's get into the container types. Uh, this is one type of container uh, that you will see when you are out in those uh, gardening stores. And this type of container, basically what it has, there's two of them here, it has a little drainage pan that is sort of attached at the base. And if I lift it out, this drainage pan, well, so basically I just turned it on its side and you could see water drips out. That's because what the mechanism by which this plant, this type of planter prevents your, um, your plants from getting too waterlogged by collecting the water down in the bottom in this drainage pan. So if we opened this up here, actually I think I do have maybe one, it's not attached, do I? I guess I don't. Oh, maybe I don't have any. But basically what you'd see is you'd see a couple prongs that kind of like stick down and secure it into the base. And um, that basically keeps the, keeps the pan in place. And then there's holes down in the bottom which allow the water to drain down into this pan. So that's one of the benefits of having this type of planter. The negatives that come with this planter... So first of all, this is the cheapest kind of planter that you can find. Except for maybe cheap ones that don't have any don't have any drainage pans, but you definitely want drainage no matter what kind of planter you buy. Um, but this kind, uh, it's not, so it's easy for the plant's nutrients to get lost by draining out the bottom. And um, what I mean is the nutrients in the soil, they'll drain out the bottom and the plant might become nutrient deficient quite a bit easier with this type of planter. Um, so when that water drains into the bottom pan, the plant can no longer drink that water, has no longer has access to that water, if that makes sense. Okay, so it just drains out the bottom, it sits in the bottom pan, and that prevents it from leaking all over the place, but the plant no longer has access to the water, okay? So then this is this another type of planter that you'll find in your garden, garden store. Um, this planter here is called a self-watering planter, and in it I have a pepper plant that's growing really really well and yeah, I just want to kind of show you by comparison here here's a pepper plant that's growing in this type of container and then by contrast um, let's see here's maybe sort of the equivalent to that so if I just kind of back up here I can show you the two different pepper plants and you can see the difference left versus right the two different type of watering planters will um, allow you to achieve and so I'm okay with having you know some plants that don't do as well as others I just enjoy having plants in general but um, 
I also haven't taken the time and money to go out and buy all new self-watering planters. But what this planter, how this works is that when you water the planter, any excess water will drain and it will get held in this bottom, this bottom pan here. However, the difference is that there is a wick inside of the planter that will wick the water back up into the plant when the soil starts to get dry. So this is a little bit different type of a planter and this also contributes to more, like I said before, continuous and regular watering strategy. That is why this plant here has had an experienced continuous growth whereas the plant on the left has experienced stunted growth at times just depending on whether or not I was able to water it um, twice that day or whatnot because I'm on a regular on a regular schedule where I typically water in the mornings only. So the third type of planter that I wanted to show you is for larger plants and this is um, a planter that I made myself. This is the same thing as this but a larger version of it and handmade and so um, what this is is a handmade self-watering container and so what it works exactly the same way basically I have two buckets here the bottom bucket serves as a pan that holds the water when it um, has too much or even if I um, want to pour water into the bottom bucket this this um, PVC pipe here I don't know if you can see that this PVC pipe allows me to do that I just pour water into the hole and it goes all the way down into the second bucket and there's a drainage hole here so that that second bucket doesn't overflow and then there's a wick inside that will pull the water up and water the plant um, when it doesn't have enough water in the soil. So this is another type of planter that's going to contribute to even and regular watering of your plant but basically um, it's just a larger version of it. it's a five gallon bucket so it's more suitable to larger plants like tomatoes or zucchinis or um, eggplants which um, are some of the garden, the varieties that I have in my garden here. So, so smaller, smaller planter will be well suited for like pepper plants, for example, which have a smaller footprint. So if you have any questions, um, please post them below. I think that this was a really good explanation for you on the different types of planters. And um, yeah, I'd love to, love to hear from you. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Thanks and have a great day.